So for those of you who haven't taken finasteride yet and you haven't done your blood work, it's important to get this blood work so you can establish a baseline hormonal profile. And for those of you who haven't done blood work but you're on treatment, don't freak out. It's still important for you to get that baseline blood work as early as possible because you may be using these drugs possibly for decades. So it's a great idea to establish a hormonal profile baseline as early as possible in the treatment, if not before you even start treatment. So these key markers to assess include luteinizing hormone or LH and follicle stimulating hormone or FSH. These hormones regulate the production of testosterone and are essential for understanding the hormonal balance within the body. Next, we have sex hormone binding globulin or SHBG. SHBG influences the availability of testosterone for the conversion into DHT, thus affecting the potential impact of 5-alpha reductase inhibitors. So here, this is just my thoughts, but SHBG, when testosterone is bound to this, it actually makes it bio-unavailable, meaning it can't readily be used in conversion processes like 5-alpha reductase enzymatic activity. So having low levels of SHBG can consequently, at least in serum, lead to higher levels of free testosterone. And that free testosterone is what we call bioactive. So it can be used in many processes, including the conversion into DHT by 5-alpha reductase. So this is why many times the serum DHT level isn't a perfect indicator of what's going on in the tissue. You just kind of have to trust on faith that it actually is reducing it in the tissue. And to actually know that, it's a bit hard. You'd have to go through scalp biopsies, and those are a bit expensive. But don't freak out. Typically, it is the case that if you're taking the drug, it should be decreasing scalp DHT levels. But don't get me wrong. I do think in some people, this can be a particular issue. It's just that everyone likes to think they're the special case, when in reality, they're not. Or they may just have some minor issues with this particular circumstance. But still, get SHBG levels checked as well. Next, you want to get your androgen profile checked. So the androgen profile is what we like to think of the male sex hormones, testosterone, dihydrotestosterone, androstenedione, and maybe DHEA and or DHEAS. Finally, the estrogen profile. Now those would be the class of female hormones. So it would just say something typically I've seen in some reports, just estrogen or estrogen levels or Sometimes they kind of break it down. They look at the estradiol level. So just get that checked out. Tell your doctor to mark that down in your prescription for your blood work. 